I'm going to be reviewing the Lamborghini Urus in this beautiful yellow color. The MSRP of this SUV is around 230 to 260 and this is the SUV version of the, I would say, the Huracan. I'm not a version, but this is just what Lamborghini made so, you know, you can take your friends around because the Huracan or the Aventador is only a two-seater and you can't have fun with just another person. I mean, you can, but, you know, if you want to have your friends, you can't, can't take them in there. So, I think this is a perfect car for a family or, like, family outing or friend outing because it seats four people. So, I'm gonna go in here and show you guys. Well, actually, no. Let me show you around the car first, the outside, and then we'll go inside. So, basically, this color is yellow and this is i think lamborghini's signature color yellow um it's really it's really bright but it's just perfect because when you think of a lamborghini you think of a loud color like yellow green orange and you know you if you're gonna pay two hundred sixty thousand dollars for a car you want people to notice it and i think this is a very noticeable color so let's go here in the front so we could see the design. And I think my favorite part of the car on this car has to be the front end because it reminds me of, to me it reminds me of a shark, like a, a shark's mouth. It's just so like sharp and, and just the grill is just detailed and it looks like a shark to me. But yeah, so that's that. So let me pop the hood now and show you guys what the output of this car is. So let me go ahead and open this so you guys can see the engine. So this is a 4.0 liter V8 engine twin turbo. And you could also find this engine in the Audi RS Q8. This car has a little bit of boost lag, but once it gets going, it's actually really fast. So this SUV does zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds, and I'm gonna try it out later and see if I could get the same times. Okay guys, so this is the interior. It's also yellow in here, so it's like you gotta really take care of this car and the interior because when you wear black jeans or blue jeans, especially blue jeans, it really gets and like stains the seats. So I always have to spray a cleaner in here and clean it every time somebody comes in here because I don't like seeing that like blue stain and this car's already kind of getting that, but I mean you could take care of that and you could just get a good cleaner and it'll uh, take it off so let's go here and I'm gonna show you guys the different modes the car has so here this anima it means the driving modes so the first one is strata meaning it's for street so this is just comfort and then sport is um, basically more responsive Corsa is street performance and it's also built for track and then if you're Italian or, or you know Spanish Sabia is for sand and then Terra is for off-roading and Neve is Nieve in Spanish and that's for snow or icy roads so it has these six here that are already pre-done for you and then it has this one here that's Ego which is basically individual and here these are like the different modes that you can do it so when you just press this you could change it to whatever you want and that's just going to be your individual driving mode so my favorite driving mode is corsa and that's my favorite one because i feel like it's the most responsive and you know la traffic there's just people coming in and out of lanes all the time and i need to like either be an aggressive driver and when it's on strata mode the car's kind of laggy so i have to have it on corsa for the freeway 
and also it pops like crazy on Corsa so that's one of my favorite parts like when I come to a stop it just starts popping and I just love that that's kind of, that's one of my favorite um, features about this car is the popping that it has so these screens here are both touch screens mm -hmm. and I just I love the touch screen in here and then there's you have carplay you have your navigation and then here all this believe it or not is all for the ac which is ridiculous to me i'm like d sometimes i get confused because there's just so many things but so basically you could just go up and down or you click it like you just press it and then you could just go like this if you're in a hurry or whatever and then you could change it to go you know up or towards you or towards your feet and then the seat warmers seat coolers and then this right here you need this this is for the automatic turn it off um, for the automatic you know when you come to a stop sign and the car turns off honestly I personally can't stand that because it just once I need to go again I'm in LA traffic so once I need to go I can't go and somebody's already honking behind me so I need to have that off um, and then basically I showed you guys I showed you guys the anima here and then this is the park you this is a button you press to park the car a lot of people like go crazy trying to find it but the buttons right here and then you know start and turn off the car is right here and then this big thing right this big lever that's the reverse so you just basically press on the brake and then you go like that and then that's on reverse and the camera in here is so clear and it's so big it's just amazing like this is one of the best cameras that i have seen so this car has front camera 3d camera all around camera um like aerial vision and then the rear camera i showed you guys and it also has night vision so that's really helpful at night and it comes out right here a screen um you could put it in night mode and then yeah, I haven't seen another car that has that, me personally, but I'm sure so, maybe another car does have it, but it's really helpful. I really do like that. So I really love these back seats and just being here in the back because we have cup holders. We also have these seats recline so or go forward and recline so you could go forward and then you could recline the seat most back seats don't have that so I think that's really cool and then we also have the buttons for the AC that you can control from back here so the front the driver the passenger have their own AC and then the people back here have their own AC and each one is individual so that's also cool so it does have a lot of usable trunk space, which is essential in an SUV. And then this is a button here to close it, and then this is a button here to close it and lock it automatically. So you just press it. know the price point and what the car is this is an extreme luxury car I would say it's worth it it's up there with the with performance it's up there with the Trackhawk the AMG SUVs and the Porsche SUVs but I mean if you're gonna spend might as well get a Lamborghini SUV it's really fast it sounds amazing it's super comfortable it looks crazy it's like the craziest suv you can get that's out there so if i was looking to get an suv i would get i would get the urus now let's take it for a drive so i can show you guys other features and how it sounds so now i'm going to put it in the different modes and show you guys how it sounds so right now it's in strata which is street and i'm gonna show you how it sounds okay 
so that's strata. That's sport. And then this is Corsa. You guys could already hear it. So this time I'm going to do it with this device called a draggy and then so we could get the real times and see how fast it actually does go. I'm going to try and get a good 0 to 60 time for you guys. So here it goes. <laughs> 